It's difficult to imagine. Your brother shot dead in cold blood and the man who pulled the trigger allowed to walk free because of a legal technicality. Yeah, next month, month will uh, mark 34 years since the murder of Rodney Tahu, a loving husband, father and brother who went to work at a Turangi gas station and never came home. His murderer, Menzies Hallett, confessed his crime to his wife but her testimony was legally inadmissible at the time so he was able to continue living life as a free man. But thanks to a change in the law and the perseverance of police, 72-year-old Hallett was last week sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum non-parole period of 10 years. And today, for the first time, his siblings speak out about the impact of those long years waiting for justice to be done. Reporter Kali Hemopo with this exclusive. It simply blew the family apart, as simple as that. It just devastated us. Kuanekiatu <laughs> It blew obsessed to Australia, it blew me to the South Island. It just broke us right up and, uh, you know, uh, our family was never the same thereafter. I, w I would have thought it might have brought you closer together. Well, we're together now, aren't we? <laughs> you know, but the initial thrust blew us to pieces, blew us apart. And it, it took years, and years and years and years to really, well, come back together, basically. When our father died, he was like a father figure to all us girls, you know. Rodney was only a boy, but he'd left school. You know, this kid having to come home and try and look after us, do domestic things as well as doing his study and doing his work, and he's just a kid. We had to take responsibility you know, for the family, which when you've got 11 in your family, it's, it's quite a bit to take care of. He was a good leader, and he was a good role model for us. Oh, that's right, we need to place. <laughs> oh, look at that. And that, that was the his band, the reverbs. He used to have a little chair, and Hannah would sit on it, <laughs> and he would serenade her and <laughs> sing to her. Who's the first the song he sang? Can you remember the song? She wears my... <laughs> the Reverbs, that was, uh, that was um, a name that my brother had come up with probably, or his band at the time. Originally my sister played uh, rhythm guitar, but my sister used to think her fingernails and she was too unladylike to play the guitar. I ended up getting that job, and with a few slaps around the fingers and things, uh, I improved a lot. We used to go to weddings, we used to go to um, 21sts, or just the beautiful dinners that we they used to have. We used to get up there, we have to do the music with them. Hmm. No doubt about it, our lives would have been different had he still been with us. Have you any idea at all um, the motive for the killing? I can only suspect at this stage that it uh, was a theft or robbery. The phone goes, I remember the phone going. I was uh, lying on the couch and I heard the phone going and I said to myself, something's happened because no one gets a phone call at two or three in the morning unless it's bad. And that's the first thing I thought. I didn't know what it was, but I just had a funny feeling. And sure enough, you know the rest. I just thought, oh, this is ridiculous, you know? Nah, you know, can't be. Just told that he was in hospital, and if we didn't hurry, we may not get to say goodbye. It wasn't until we got to the hospital and saw him that um, it hit home, and, and you think, I thought straight away, well, how could something like this happen? You know, it was only a few days ago I'd been talking to him, but we um, got there too late. I sort of went to my sister's first, I said, What happened? He said, 
Our brother's been shot. Someone just shot our brother. I thought shot. I thought, you know, I thought that's what I heard was shot. Now, was that in the shoulder? Was that in the leg? Was that, you know, where? I thought, oh, well, I thought, you know, my brother's fit. He's a big guy. He's fit. Yeah, he should pull through this. No worries. But little do we know where he was shot and how many times he was shot. It was gone, you know, just gone, just like that, just at the flick of a gun, just gone. And it was really, it was really I'm sorry. It was just so hard that we didn't want to be seeing him again. It was ugly, it was dark, it was black. The light had gone out of my writing. It was just black, horrible. The case has uh, been reviewed periodically um, over the years, and as a result, a 70 year old male was arrested and charged with this murder. No te tai witsunga uru ma iwa ko hela te tangata iwa ka paitia mote ko uru e rangi nā te ngoi kore o te ture me ngā tau nakitanga kā ria i āmine ia. Tai rawa mai ki te tau rua mano ngā uru mā tai ka upu kina ia e te ture a ka waka paitia ia mote ko uru e a Rodney tau. E maro tonu ana ngā kore roa menzies hela ki a Susan Sharp i te ata i puhia ai a Rodney tau. So, I've killed someone killed someone in Turangi. Ko ia hoki tā te wahi ne o mua a helet ki ngā pirihima nei te tau whitu te kau mā iwa. Engari nā te ture i tau awa, kaore i whakaia ke tuku kōrero te wahi ne motana tāne. I naia nei, kua puta. After he called the man the black bastard and the attendant, took a few paces towards him and then he shot him. Tūturu e anu anu katoa ngā weako, ko te kite atu i te tangata i waka paitia mo te kouru, a ko te noo me te waka rongoa nōki ki ngā āua tanga waka mutunga i tāmi ai i tō rātau tuakana i roto i o na miniti waka mutunga. Do you remember the trial? No, I didn't want to go. I couldn't, couldn't cope with that, I'm sorry, no. I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to live through that again. You live through it every day. I didn't want to see the person did that time. Every day he used to come and look at us and smile and smirk and carry on. Well, it was just, I just couldn't believe how a person can be like that. Stress, you know, you, you, you know, you got to get up and you got to go face him. I mean, him's mad, you got to face him. If, oh, no, don't look at him, just look at what's going on. And, oh, it's because there's a lot of parts we didn't know what actually happened, you know. We're quite, and we're quite devastated what, when the um, lawyers were reading out the, you know, what do you call it, the state? <sighs> unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I didn't know that he was lying on the ground and he was taking pop shots at him. Yeah, and my brother screaming for help. You know, he shot at me twice. Help, help. And he comes along and puts the third one. You know, come on. Uh, what? <sighs> That's pretty hard. That's quite easy to figure out that that's straight out blooming murder, isn't it? At any point, did you feel like you wanted to take the law into your own hands? Me, personally? No. But the whole rugby minister team did. The whole rugby team, oh, you're going to go and get this guy, blah, 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 blah. But it's funny, that was from day one, too. They, well, they thought everyone else thought about it except me. Getting revenge on this person. I thought, yeah, what does that make the Tahu family be out there to be? Hey, bring him down, bring us down to his level. Is that is that what they're saying? They're not really giving it any thought. We were here five weeks ago, and someone just out of the blue didn't know me. Come up and said to me, "Are you going to get this guy?" You know, why do people come up to me and say that? Because it's the furthest thing from my mind. Do you know what I mean? Mr. Hallett, please stand. For the murder of Rodney Tahu, you are sentenced to life imprisonment. Please stand down. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Obviously, it's just wait my family come here. We want to get the family, family out there. Yeah. Can we step back just a time? Tata ki te toru ngā uru mā wā tau kua i pātū. I nāi nei ka āmine i a tete i mo te kōuru o tō rātau tuakana. It's been a pretty tough 18 months, it's been a pretty tough 30 odd years, frankly. Uh, I guess uh, 
we all wake up tomorrow and start again. Oh, I feel, I feel good. Good outcome. The best we got. The best we could hope for. Oh, no, wonderful. Yeah, Joy. It's yes. good that it's all over. Yes. Yeah, he's got us just as it. Yes. Yes. He tino waka mā tēnei wānau, a maringa nui tāe ai rātai te ware kōti te waka rere atu. I'm pleased it's all finished. Thank God. Yes. Well, I'll get on the bed. <laughs> So we're just getting together again uh, to have a little bit of a debrief and a court at all about what actually took place in uh, court today. I, I have been told a few things about in layman's terms what actually happened today. Um, we all know that he got he got uh, life imprisonment and uh, with a non parole period of ten years. Yeah, it was a bit hard to follow, I thought. Yeah. But the judge was very clear. Do you want to say? How old is Menzies Hallett? Yeah. He is 72 years old. So 10 years anyway is going to make him 82. 82 years. He's not going to see the outside. No. Great. Dear God, we just want to thank you for being with our family today through the whole court process and being there as our strength and our guide. Um, and just bless our family. In Jesus' name we pray. Ko hi ki na te toi maa, i nai nei ko anga waka mua te wānau. E ia ia nō rātai ki a waka rere atu te mamai, i rangi ki a aro kē ki ngā pū mā aro te arikoa me te aroa, i o mai e tō rātai tuakana. Make the most of the times you've got with your loved ones, because you never know what can happen tomorrow. I don't regret anything, it's just that I miss him. And I, and I miss what he could have been. He'll always be, be, you know, be beside us. He'll always, you know, he'll always be there. We'll never forget him. I love him so much. I love uh, Rodney, such a, he was such a beautiful guy. Because he was our rock of our family. He was the rock, and when that rock went, well, the rest crumbled, and it's only taken this time that's healed. And as, as they say, time heals. But it's it's healed. At least we've come back together, and it shows a bit of mana in our family here. Neira hoki te reo mai o ha e tau toko ake nei te re reo kupu pō hangahanga ki a Rodney Tahu. I whakatō mene a wairua poke atura i te ara mā reparepa ki ngā puna ngahuru o moana tuatea toru te kau mā whātau ki muri. Hoki rawa mai ki tōna whānau e pū kō nohi nohi tonu nei, e rangi kane tonu nei ko te kura o te aroha tēnei te titia nei ki te whatumanoa o tēnā o tēnā o koutou.